It's longer than a football field and cost an estimated $100 billion with the help of five different space agencies and 26 countries. For all the high-tech hurdles scientists had to clear, the International Space Station does have a shelf life. Right now, the station is slated for operation through 2024. What happens then, uh, we're not sure. Former NASA astronaut Leroy Chow spent about 230 days on the ISS as commander. Russia and the United States built key parts of the space station, which Russia has agreed to operate until 2024. After that, Russia wants to take its module and create its own space station. Is it possible? There have been a lot of people over the years saying that there's no way that can happen. Uh, I wouldn't put it past the Russians. They're pretty clever. And liftoff. This is how all astronauts must get to the International Space Station on a Russian Soyuz capsule. The U.S. grounded its space shuttle program more than five years ago. The U.S. is looking beyond the space station and wants to send a team to Mars by 2030. In the meantime, other nations are looking to partner up for the next generation space station. I think it's good for us to work with countries like China uh, to be the leader in civil space. But there is a current U.S. law that forbids NASA from working with China's space agency. This is what NASA Administrator Charles Bolden said in 2014 to CCTV America. I'm an internationalist, let me put it that way. Uh, I believe the United States is the leader in exploration in the world. I'm afraid that the United States has been so used to being the leader in human spaceflight for so many years that we've taken it for granted. But frankly, if we don't watch out, uh, we could easily become irrelevant.